Now, vectors are so useful and used all over the place in applications, especially if you look at your basic physics, your basic mechanics. You may recall certain formulae from physics, like, oh, I don't know, work equals force times distance. But these are really best expressed in terms of vectors, since force and displacement are both vector quantities. The work is really a dot product between the two. That's one example. Another example comes from torque. If you look at force applied at some distance away from an object, then the torque can be expressed as a vector quantity that is really a cross product of those two vectors. And finally, the equation everyone knows from physics, F equals ma, Newton's second law. The force and acceleration terms are really vector quantities, with the mass being a scalar. OK, great examples of physics. And you know physics is relevant to calculus, so vectors are relevant to calculus. But wait a minute, we're supposed to be doing calculus. What happened? Where's all the derivatives? Where's all the integrals? I thought we were supposed to do that. Well, let's start off by rethinking a bit about curves.